Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. So if you guys are looking for a free legendary sports car, okay, you guys got me, it's not necessarily a legendary sports car, but it is definitely a super sports car that you can get completely for free. If you guys need to know exactly how to do it, that's exactly what we're gonna go over in today's episode. I've been having a few people ask me about this specific car, how I was able to obtain it, how much I paid for it, well, I didn't pay anything for it, and we're going to go over everything that you guys need to know about it in order to get it for free. So let's go ahead and dive into the episode right now. But anyway, if you guys are enjoying these episodes and want to continue seeing these type of tutorial episodes, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, make sure that you guys go ahead and share these videos with everyone that you know and everywhere that you possibly can because it really does help the channel out a lot. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. But this is the location on the map that you guys want to be able to come to. I do highly recommend that after we go over all of the information in this episode and whatnot, before you go into the specific cave right here, that you do have a save at least nearby. Now, driving through this area can be a little bit of a nightmare, as you're going to see here in just a moment. I pretty much F this up pretty big time here but that's fine it's a little bit tricky to drive to this area especially when you get the legendary sports car because it is quite fast i don't know why i necessarily keep calling it a legendary sports car because it's really not a legendary but it is a free super car nonetheless and i really do enjoy it and it is pretty much my main vehicle that i use all the time now i do want to let you guys know that this is why i recommend that you guys go ahead and save it prior to doing this because the container where the vehicle is supposed to be at which you guys can see clearly right here does not have the sports car inside of it but it has everything else and of course i'm going great um well, at least I had a save point literally five minutes before this. But again, I'm going to show you guys on the map where it's at in order to get this completed. So you guys have no doubt in your mind what you guys need to do. But let's go ahead and go over all of the information that is needed to obtain this sports car completely for free. Now, you guys obviously will need to be in Act 2 because you can't explore the entire map until you get to that point in time anyway. But you're going to have to be able to complete the main story mission, which is labeled Ghost Town. Now, this is specifically a mission that you're going to be doing with Pan Am. And um, it's one of the first missions that you do with her after you meet her. It's not too far into the story with her. But ultimately, you're coming to this location here anyway to basically take revenge out on somebody else. I'm not really going to get into the story itself. But you do have to wait third, uh, three days in-game hours after this mission has been completed in order for this sports car to show up now you might have to drive to this thing a couple of times but eventually on your little mini map at the upper right hand corner of the screen there will be a car icon this is where this main story mission actually takes place at which is right here that i just drove by and now you can actually see the symbol of a car that was there and the first time that i showed it to you guys the car actually there was no icon so if you guys see the container then you're just gonna have to load up a previous save if the car isn't there because that's exactly what happened to me but this is exactly what you need to do in order to do it and the car the car is like kind of pushing to the ground which whatever i know that cyberpunk has a few bugs and uh, i play on console and i i honestly i'm loving the game very very much and there's a few tweaks that need to be changed to the game but i'm not even going to get into all that in today's episode so just make sure that you guys complete the main story mission which is ghost town with pan am um complete it completely and then you're gonna have to wait uh three full in-game days so you can either advance the time manually or do other things that you would like so you can either fast forward the time or just do other things in the meantime and then roughly that's those three days afterwards you're going to want to come back to this location and make a save before you actually enter either side of the cave so that's honestly it's it's as simple as that to get this sports car and i love it it is an amazing car there's other cars that i've gotten for free inside of the game and if there are other vehicles that you guys would like to know about and how to get them completely for free, then by all means, leave a comment down below. Uh, it, I want to be able to help you guys out as much as I possibly can with the game. And that is, is if that's showing you guys the different legendary locations, um, some of the hidden gems that are available to us, whether it's different iconic weapons or just 
amazing things that you guys might want to know about, then I'm definitely here and going to be making a ton of guides with Cyberpunk 2077. Unfortunately, I do feel really bad that the community has received this game. I, job. I don't. I want to say with guide. very mixed reviews because honestly, I am completely loving this game. Find out who's and yes, there does the need to be some attached. things fixed. It's not a perfect game by any means, but it is definitely about not, in my opinion, the worst game by a long shot. There's been a lot of other games that have been very talking about Anthem and even Fallout 76 that were really bad. And for Sony to actually have removed this game from the from their uh, online platform, I don't know. It just seems really strange to me. And I know that a lot of people are asking for refunds, and I play on console. And yes, I play on an Xbox Series X, so I it's there's a little bit of difference between that and the Xbox One. Maybe I should try it on my Xbox One X and just see if there's a huge difference, but I really don't think that there's going to be. So, that's just my opinion. I'm going to get into a more specific video probably later about all my thoughts and feelings and opinions about the game at a later point in time. But I just wanted to get that out there. So, yeah, have fun with this free legendary sports car. It's super easy to get. You just have to get to a very specific main mission. Um, it's probably about halfway through the campaign before you can actually get it. And if you want to kind of hustle and bustle till this point in time, that's all you really need to do in order to get it. And then you have a free legendary card to basically go around the city doing whatever you guys would like to do from here on out. But I do just want to say thank you guys so very much for all of the support that you have been giving me over the last few weeks and honestly even over the last few years. I am very much trying to grow the channel, so uh, for the people that have definitely stuck around for the different games that I have played, I do truly thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I know that I don't say it enough, and I do. Um, I am ever so grateful for you guys. But ultimately, I do really want the channel to grow so that I can do more stuff for you guys in the long run. So if you guys are really enjoying the content, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. As YouTube really does value those things, and honestly, it, it really can help me out. And like I did say, I do want to have giveaways eventually here on the channel. So if that is something that you guys would like to be able to participate, it's my way of being able to give back to you guys as the channel does grow. But ultimately, I do get need more support from you guys if that is something that you would like to see. But anyway, thank you guys ever so much for watching this. Uh, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you guys very soon.